One of the best tips that I can give coaches, parents, and even teammates is to learn how to give your athletes permission to fail. And what that means is this. I want to paint three stories for you that I see happening all across America whenever I go to watch games. The first scenario is this. A pop-up in the infield, the second baseman gets underneath it, it hits the glove, and then it hits the ground. They drop the ball. And all of a sudden, I hear either coming from the bucket or grandma down the line in the lawn chair, come on, you got to have that. Come on, you got to catch that. And I'm thinking in my head, what do you think that kid was trying to do? The second thing that happens is this. The pitcher's on the mound, they're looking to throw a pitch, and they can't find the strike zone. It's a 10-year-old, 12-year-old, and they can't find the zone. They're throwing ball after ball after ball. And all of a sudden, I hear from the dugout or even the stands from mom and dad, just throw strikes. Come on, just throw strikes. And I'm thinking, what do you think that kid's trying to do? He's trying to throw strikes. That doesn't help the situation. And the last thing I see is this. Batters in the box is nervous. It's a tough situation. Strike three called. They head back to the dugout, and all of a sudden, I hear, come on, you got to swing at that. Okay? In all those scenarios, the player knows they failed. They feel terrible. They know they failed. They know they let their team down, their coach down, their dad down, their grandma down. They feel that in that situation. But instead of letting our athletes know that, hey, it's okay to, to fail, instead we're saying, hey, you got to have that. We, we're, we're just reinforcing this idea that they already know that they failed. We're just going to pile it on top of them. So in those situations, let me give you some better ways to deal with it. Number one, in the pop-up scenario where the ball drops, the shortstop or the first baseman or even the pitcher should come by and say, hey, you're all right, shake it off, we'll get you next time. The coach even from the bucket can say, hey, you're all right, shake it off, I trust you, that's why you're there. Okay, and now think about that. If you can tell that athlete that just failed, instead of saying, you gotta have that, you gotta do this, if you instead you say, hey, I trust you. Hey, it's all right. Shake it off. We got eight other players to protect you. We're going to get the next one. The next time that pop-up happens, guess what's going to happen? They're going to catch it. They're going to have the, the, the trust. They're going to have the, the confidence to do that. Same thing with the pitcher's mound. If they can't throw strikes, you call timeout. You say, hey, if you're a catcher, it's a great scenario as a teammate to go out there and say, hey, shake it off. You're all right. We got your back. Relax. And if they can't keep throwing strikes, then we change the pitcher. And you know, as a coach, as we come out there, and that's our job to change the pitcher out if that's the scenario. But let that pitcher know, hey, you're all right, relax, we've got your back. And don't have to reinforce that they've already been failing. And the same thing with the strikeout scenario. Hey, you strike out looking, we get back in the dog, hey, you're all right, you're gonna get up next time. And so when they go out on defense, they have that confidence, hey, coach trusts me, my parents aren't gonna get mad at me when I fail. I know that I can have the confidence to do that. Parents coaches and even teammates when your teammates or your athletes fail let them know that hey I trust you you're gonna be all right shake it off we got your back and guess what next practice we might be practicing pop-ups in the infield we might be practicing throwing strikes but in that moment the athlete needs to know that you trust them that you have confidence in them and that you've got their back and that's giving them permission to fail and that as a that's one of the best tips that I can give as a parent coach and player is to learn how to give those players permission to fail